Die Lady Die. I'm a professional dancer and professional artist. Uh, my recent work, uh, I recently co-produced a event with my man Jojo Dancer, shout out to Jojo and Zelina. Um, we co-produced a, a dance battle involving whacking house and hip hop. And also my last art show was in the Art Gallery of Ontario for Manifesto 2011. Um, I would say music, I mean besides art and dance. Um, I spend a lot of time listening to music, I always have, and I think to me it's the main reason why the culture is, is what it is, is because we couldn't dance unless we had the music to dance to, and also listening to the music gave me ideas and inspired um, visual images for me to create, so I think the music in itself is the basis for which we make our culture, and um, it, it unifies everyone, so. It definitely helps, you know, bring me around people that I also connect with in other forms. So I would say music is the one thing I connect to the most, other than dance and art. Um, my definition of street art is basically art done in the street, um, done by artists that uh, I guess have roots in a city or who, who live in urban centers around the world. Um, street art is art that's represented, uh, representative of the street, so basically culture um, of people that live in cities and uh, I guess people like some very raw, very unfiltered expression. Um, and yeah, it's basically shown in public as much as possible not so much excluded in galleries or in exclusive art shows, but it's pretty much owned by everyone in the public. Street artists to me, people like Banksy, people like uh, Miss Van, Fafi, um, the old graph writers of, you know, back in the day, Zephyr, uh, <laughs> Lady Pink, um, my girl, uh, to fly in New York City um, and people like that. Um, my last street art show was at the Art Gallery of Ontario uh, last year for Manifesto Festival in 2011. Um, it was a big deal because Art Gallery of Ontario is a nationally recognized center of art. Um, hmm, the last one I wanted to go to. There's a few. I mean. I don't know, I can't really say the next one I want to go to. I probably would want to make an art show for my birthday. I, I kind of want to do a coloring party where people just color in stuff that I draw on the wall. Uh, the hip hop music of today, I wish would be better, but people like Kanye West and Jay-Z, um, people like Frank Ocean, Kendrick Lamar, um, these are artists that I personally listen to and like, that are current and have, I, I guess, a stake in the future of music. Um, but I just wish that it had more meaning. Um, it had better lyrics, better, uh, I guess, ways of express, expressing itself as opposed to a lot of the commercial stuff. I prefer music that's more meaningful and purposeful as opposed to just commercial and and like superficial, I guess. Um, dance today, in my opinion, um, the word hip hop dance is such a convoluted word. There's so many subgenres and so many different styles that people don't really know exactly what hip hop dance is per se. But for me personally, I grew up watching people like the Mop Tops and Elite Force. Um, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that. Uh, that they were the ones who originated and pioneered the style until I met them in New York. 
And that's when I realized that I had been watching them their entire career and following their steps and that kind of thing. Um, so in my opinion, I, I just wish that people would give more respect to the foundation and the people who founded these moves and uh, who pioneered them and I guess build upon the steps that are considered foundation in hip hop. Okay, so for me, I like the Running Man. It's basic. Um, I do it well. I've always done it well. Um, and a lot of people actually get it wrong, which is funny. But uh, but yeah, it's something I take pride in and something to this day that gets a wow out of people. So.